Hello classmates! Okay, today I'm gonna start the video talking about the language. A uh, language is more than words, it's a great part of the culture and uh, as you will know there are majority and minority languages. The majority languages are spoken by a great com a big community and minority languages uh, are those ones uh, spoken by a small community. A minority language could be Spanish, English, French, a minority language for example our language Basque. Uh, when more than one language is spoken in a specific place, um, situations like, like this glossia can happen. Um, this, in this situation, one language is used for formal context and the other language is used for informal context. As you will imagine, and as it is logical, the majority language is used in a formal context and the minority language is used in a formal context, like a f context, like a family. Um, in 1996, a really important law was signed, the Universal Declaration of Linguistic Rights. I strongly believe that laws are so important and it is because they help in the linguistic sustainability. And I will explain now what is it. Uh, linguistic sustainability is a changing process in the linguistic organization and its final aim is to uh, keep humans talking a minority language without uh, without changing to a majority one. Um, as you will imagine, uh, if I need to go to the hospital and I speak minority language, I will have the necessity to know the majority language in case they don't know the minority language in the hospital. But if I speak the minority language, I don't have the necessity to learn the minority language. So um, I will say that this is not fair. Um, Okay, I had the opportunity to watch a video about the Basque history and its language history too, and I feel so sad. I can't understand how people can say and have the dichotomous thinking and say that one language or the other, black or white. No, no, no. Two languages can survive in one place and both of them can be used for the same context. Why are you going to disappear one? If you disappear a language, you will disappear a culture too, and it's not fair. Now, I would like to give some advices to foster with the plurilingual education. Um, I strongly believe in the education, I, and I think that it has a really important role to help developing and maintaining a language. Um, a school can uh, should be open to the diversity, uh, also to the linguistic diversity too. In one school, we can find students from different countries with different mother tongues. We have to respect them, and we have to see that like a positive thing. We cannot say, "Oh, that's really negative." I don't want to have students from different countries. I just want to teach in Basque, for example. No. We have to adapt and we have to use different languages, for example, in our schools, Basque, Spanish and English. All of them are important. We don't have to give more importance to one than to the other. But it's true that the minority languages has have this importance and we should give that because the, these languages have to survive. Um, okay, so uh, in the school, you have the the school have the opportunity to choose the language that they are gonna teach. For example, nowadays the Model D is becoming really popular in the Basque country, and for me, it's it's really nice. I I feel so happy knowing that. Um, and of course, if they teach in Basque, this language is gonna be used more than before. So. It's a good point. Um, I think that it's really important to have really well-trained teachers. They have to control all the languages that they are gonna teach and the, the materials should be adapted to the age, to the language, and should be correct. Because it's easy to find some books that are not good expressed in that language. Mm, okay, I think that Learning about culture, history, geography, it's really important. Um, 
because it has a close relation with with languages so i think that watching videos using media technologies computer it's a positive to teach students languages and to show them the important importance that they have and try to teach them the connection that has culture language and other traditions like mus music instruments more more um and the last thing i would like to say that families they have to be a contact with the school and they have to share the idea. We cannot say to the students that learning languages and um, it's really important and then go home and some families say, why are you learning? Why are you spending all that time to learn Basque? It's nonsense. Why are you gonna spend all the time? You are not gonna use it out of the Basque country, so why don't you learn more about English? And no, this is not the idea that we have to have in our mind. We have to love all the languages. All of them are important and we have to give the importance that they need. So um, this is my video. I hope you will like it and see you soon. Bye.